Well, hello, good people. I hope you all are doing well out there. Welcome to Brown Bag Tarot. Welcome back if you're new. Mm -hmm. I'm about to tear open some bags today. Of course, I'm starting with the Geminis because I happen to be one. Gemini again? Mm-hmm. Again. Gotta love the one you with, baby. So that's where we gonna start. Okay, let's do it. Today, I think I'm going to focus on love, okay? I'm going to see what's going on with you, whoever's on your mind, where y'all meet in the middle, what's really going on here, okay? I've already kind of said my little prayer, but Spirit, please give me some messages for the Gemini and the person on Gemini's mind and where they meet in the middle, okay? While I'm shuffling up my cards here. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Give me some messages for the Gemini so they can make good decisions for their highest self. <clears throat> Moving forward, please and thank you. Okay. Let me see what's going on with you, your partner. If you need to replace the roles, you do that. But I separate them so that I don't get confused. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Spirit. Please show me the Gemini's energy, please. One, two, three. Okay. Personal power and love. Okay, all right. Loving on yourself, huh, Gemini? I can dig it. All right, Spirit, show me the person's energy. One. Whoa, that's a lot. Okay. Three. Divine guidance. Action. Motivation. Where do you guys meet in the middle? Community. Bees. Hmm. I might be going out for coffee or something, you know. Hot and steamy. I don't know. Let's see how this play out a little bit. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. You know, we're doing love. So let me pull my love tarot oracle deck here. All right. Spirit, can you uh clarify this personal power for me, please? What is this personal power? Gemini, I feel that you are loving on yourself. You got personal power and love, heart, okay? I feel like um, like you're crowning yourself with love. That's a beautiful thing there. I like that, Gemini. All right, what's this personal power, spirit? All right, what we have? Look at like that. Nine of swords, there you are. Change your focus, five of cups, and the chariot, move. Could be dealing with the cancer here. Um, I feel like, I feel like you were in a cycle, you know, nine of swords, says like high anxiety, overthinking, um, and then change your focus and move. I feel like you have moved from a place of overthinking. You have moved from a place of high anxiety. You are, you are deciding to change your focus on something else. And, 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 and you're moving into a place where, um, where you're opening your heart space again, where you're loving on yourself. Again, we were talking about this the last time. Okay, personal power and love, heart, opening your heart space. What is what is this? Okay, here we go. Finding balance, just like I said. I feel like you're finding balance within yourself because you got the world card here. You know, that's like the ending of cycles. Success and growth. Awaiting results. Okay, and see, and I like this. You see here, that person has got roots inside of themselves going straight up to their heart. Okay, so I feel like the 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 work that you've been doing on yourself, you're just waiting to see it just pay off. You know, 
you, you've closed out some cycles, you've closed some doors, you found some balance, and you felt like that was necessary. Let's see what's going on with your person. Divine guidance. What are they being guided to do? Healing begins. Okay. All right. Manifest. The magician. See. Okay. I feel like with your person, I feel like spirit is guiding them, you know, to heal their heart. You know? To, 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 to let their heart space guide their steps. Okay? I feel like they're, they're, they're trying to manifest. They're trying to manifest something with you. Okay? But they know that they have to go on the inside and do some soul work. Okay? Person could be a, 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 a Gemini. We got heavy Virgo here. Okay? What's the action that your person is trying to take? What's their actions towards you? Thank you, Spirit. What's the person's actions toward Gemini? Taking a lead. Yeah, action. Taking a lead right there. Third eye. Okay. I feel like they're looking back on what happened, what they did, perhaps what could have been different. You know, I'm hearing what could I do more of? What can I change? What can I do the same? That's the reason why they have this... Um, hermit card here they're taking the time to look over what happened they're taking the time to reflect okay they're taking the time to heal what's going on with the, within them because with this six of cups right here sitting on top of the third eye chakra again that's like um i'll call that like being able to see beyond what you can see so that's introspection again and the six of cups is looking back as well you know the good times you know the bad times all the time the whole time they were dealing with you they're looking back over all of that and they know that they have to heal their self and make some changes if they want to come back in if they want to take this action okay because lastly we have motivation on their side what are they motivated about Spreading your wings, win or lose. I, I feel like they're going to come and take a chance no matter what. Because we got win or lose here with the five of swords. That's almost like the ace of swords to me. But, but the sword is down. Okay? So, I feel like, I feel like they're contemplating how to come back. I feel like they may not be ready to speak their whole truth because, you know, they have this introspective work that they need to do. Okay, but I, I do feel as though after they have done their introspection, they're going to come and speak to you because this card up here also says never give up, motivated. So they're coming back, but they're coming back after they have done their full analysis of what has occurred and what you know they need to do within themselves yeah reach out i told you they coming they coming clear ace of swords is right there ace of swords okay and see this guy you know it's a green butterfly on this card. So that's like saying, you know, my heart space has been transformed and they sending it out to you. They're going to be sending their, their love, their heart space energy out to you to say, hey, listen, baby, I have transformed. I'm a different person now and I want you to see it. Now, that's the truth, Ruth. That is the truth. Baby, look at me. I'm changed, all right? I'm not the same person that I was. Give me a chance. Let me show you that I have transformed with the fool card, okay? Trust, all right? You see this woman? She is completely covered in green. Like, listen, they're saying, like, listen, baby, trust me. I'm changed. I'm different now. Please give me a chance. And see, they it's like a begging, pleading energy from your person because you've changed, Gemini. You're not in your head anymore. You're not overthinking. You're moving forward with the results that you've already made, okay? You're moving forward. All right. 
You say, listen, now I'm allowing some things that I have done, all of my introspective work that I've already done. I'm allowing that to take root. My heart space is open, but it ain't open for any bull. Okay, it's only open for the right thing. You got some success and growth here. Okay, you got success and growth. You have closed out a cycle on being overthinking, on being anxious, on being uh, overthinkative. I know that's not a word, but we're going to use it. Okay, so I feel like the energy between you two is the community. I feel like your person wants the community to see that they're changing and you took them back. I feel like Gemini with you in the community, I feel like you're saying, all right, I'm open to date now. I'm, I'm ready to go into the community and see what's out there. You guys also have the fool card between you two and the same thing. Your person is like, baby, let's have a whole nother, you know, go at this. And your fool card is, hey, I'm, I'm different. Okay. Things are going to be different for me. Okay, whether it's with you or not, person. So Gemini is ready for whatever. It ain't the bullshit anymore. Okay, they have fixed their heart space. They have done their work. I feel like your person is now just beginning to do their work. All right, and I feel like they want you to kind of wait on them, you know, but I feel like you're not waiting, Gemini. You're like, hey, now, catch up, mustard. Okay? Because I've done my work and I don't necessarily have to sit around and wait for you to do your work. Now, if you are doing your work, fantastic. But even if it doesn't work on me, let it work on the next person. Okay? So, good job, Gemini. Yeah, do your thing. And good job to your person, too. You know, for them coming to a space where... They are doing their work. You both are doing your work. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I see that if you do decide to give them another chance, it looks like they're going to be a different person, but only time will tell. But in the meantime, Gemini, keep on doing your work because the work that you have done already, it's going to pay off. All right. So that's what I have for the Gemini. I hope y'all enjoyed this message. If you did, hit that like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And if this message resonates with you, leave it in the comment section because I would love to hear your feedback. So until the next time we get together over here at Brown Bag Tarot, I encourage you all to pack light and y'all be cool.